change this. So, here for me to speak about abstinence is Keith Richards. Hang on, mate. Define abstinence, please. Oh, well, um... For the people. So, and of course me. So, it's like, uh... It's like when, uh... Oh, sex. Yes. Oh no. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it, I got it. Don't worry. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I got this coming. You know what I'm talking about. I do, bro. I do. Yeah, okay. right. abstinence. You got it. I'll tell you about abstinence. Woo! When, yeah. I, it's, when I was on the Steel Wheels tour of 1989, <laughs> when I was on the Steel Wheels tour of 1989, Mick fathered 17 children. And I think he dedicated like four of them to the audience in Rio. I think. I don't know. I never remember actually going to Rio. Um, <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> what is he doing, man? Are you drinking back there? Because if you are, I won't end on it. <laughs> Just and, keep going. And Mick Just followed 17 children 17. on that tour. Yeah. And he just made the world even bigger and better than it is. And abstinence is a cool thing to say. <laughs> Our parks are getting polluted by litter. I am deeply disappointed in America. And here to show my disappointment is Keith Richards. All right, littering. You know, when I walk in the park, I, had, I don't know, whatever city I'm in, and I go to the park and I see the people walking the dogs, and the dog drops a big, nasty, juicy deuce on the sidewalk. I can't help but think how mad I get at the dogs. Well, not necessarily, not necessarily the dogs, but the owners. Because sometimes it's the law to pick it up, and they don't. And you know what that leaves me? I can't get no satisfaction. Thank you. And every year, you know, millions of people are maimed or harmed and what people now know is sadomasochism. Handcuffs, whips, seriously guys, this stuff should never be introduced into the bedroom. And here to talk about that today is a guy I'd like to call, whatever this guy is called, Keith Richards. Say the word again, it's really long. Uh, be, uh, 
Can we say the masochism, all bro? Alright, all right, thank you. Alright, all right, yeah. I've got this. You got it? Hand me the handcuffs, it's shiny. Alright, bro. Thank you. Right on. Alright, say the masochism. I remember one time in 1971, Jim Morrison had just died. I think, I don't know. It's a long time ago. And Mick said, I don't know why I said Jim Morrison just died. It was a sad thing. And one time Mick said to me, Hey Keith, why don't we get our sadomasochism going on, man? And I thought, why would it say such a thing to me? That's a big word. And then he pulled out this, this studded belt with spikes sticking out of it. And he said, bend over, little doggy. I'm going to give your mama what she wants. And when she said that, not she, it was Mick. I don't know, Mick might be a woman. And when he said that, it truly frightened me. And I, I must say, sadomasochism, I think that's how you say it, is a wonderful thing when it's fun. Thank you. Public masturbation. What can I say? Here's Keith Richards. Public wanking. Okay. You know, when I was a young boy in England, I would walk outside and see the big shiny trees. I don't know, it was shiny because I was on pot. But the point is, underneath these trees would be like people and they would be public wanking it. And when, I remember how bad, because the cops would come, the blue men would come, and they'd say, hey, little girl, you better stop wanking it. And I, I've, I've, I was like, what, six years old, and I would see these people letting the fruit flag fly in the middle of the park. Who, who knew how much damage that would do to me later in life? And I told Mick about this, and Mick said, why would anybody do that in the park? And I said, I don't know, Mick. Maybe they just couldn't get any satisfaction. Thank you.